Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here and you've been here since the beginning, welcome back. Uh, today I'm coming at you with another toy review for another 1-6 scale figure. It is the 3-0 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Ranger. Now this is going to be a nostalgia trip for a lot of folks out there. Uh, if you were a child in the 90s, surely to hell you remember the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. For a lot of kids, it was a very big thing. For some kids, it actually wasn't. Uh, I myself kind of straddled that line. I enjoyed a lot of the episodes. I had a lot of friends that enjoyed a lot of the episodes. I, I have one friend in particular that collected most of the toys in, in their entirety, as a matter of fact. I didn't have that many of them. However, today, or this past week actually, I decided to make up for that a little bit. I went to my local comic shop and, and spied the 3-0 Green Ranger. So I figured, what the hell, at a $100 price point, I'll check it out. So I gave old Lemon Juice McGee my money, and I came home with the figure. Now, this figure, I don't actually have any gripes with this figure, strangely enough. The body's not loose, the ratchet joints are tight. So, instead of me actually sitting here talking about it, let's go ahead and punch in and I'll show you. Alright guys, so here is the box for the 3-0 scale Green Ranger I just purchased. Um, again, the box is great. You're actually treated to a really shiny logo there for the Green Ranger, like the Power Coin symbol. Uh, of course, you got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, the Bandai. And at the bottom, you've got the 3-0. Um, other side of the box, of course, Mighty Morphin logo, Green Ranger. On the back, you've got some figure photography showing off the different things he comes with. Uh, the legal ease at the bottom, of course, this figure is licensed out by Hasbro 230. If you look here, the authentic 3-0 sticker. You go down the side again, another Green Ranger. And at the bottom, of course, it'll say 3-0 top of the box is pretty unremarkable as well it does have the same things we've seen uh, if you open the box you will be treated to another picture of the figure on the inside he'll be holding the dragon dagger and his sword look down another power rangers logo another green ranger another green ranger in shiny gold and here's where the figure would sit i already have him out of the box so guys, the accessories here, what you get with the figure, are actually pretty good for a $100 price point figure. Um, it does come with a very, very detailed version of the Dragon Dagger. You can see the green pitting there in the center of the blade. The blade's all metallic and shiny. The gold's actually super shiny. The lighting in here doesn't do this piece justice. Um, if you look, he also comes with his sword. The tassel is real. Um, the, unfortunately, neither of these are made out of die cast or metal. But again, like I said, the detail is definitely there for these, and they do look great. Um, you look again, he does have a plethora of extra hands for different martial arts poses. You look over here, of course, he has four more. For a $100 price point figure, guys, you can't really go wrong with these accessories. Okay, guys, and here's the figure himself. Now, here's Tommy Oliver in all his glory, looking just like he stepped off your television screen in the 90s. Um, the helmet sculpt is definitely shiny. The sculpt is almost perfect. Uh, you can see the different shades of green, the metallics, the red gem. Um, the eyepiece is shinier than the rest. You go down, he does have the gold armor. All the gold here is shiny and a little weathered. The gloves look great. Uh, the suit is spandex, which will allow him to get in quite a few martial arts poses. Uh, you go down here, of course, and here's the belt. Um, again, it'll say Power Rangers. It looks just like the Morpher from the TV series. You turn him to the side. He does have the holster for the Dragon Dagger. Um, and you go down here, and of course, you've got the boots. Guys, this figure is absolutely great. Now, I will say that it does have extremely good articulation for a 3-0 figure. Uh, that's because it doesn't have the same kind of suits like Sideshow's been using lately. It doesn't have the undersuit that actually hinders it. And none of the clothing seems to hinder this figure as well. So again, you can get him into some pretty dynamic poses if you want to. 
Uh, he does go well with anything on your six scale shelf. I may actually pick up the rest of these guys and just have one shelf that's nothing but a ranger team. Guys, thanks for hanging out and checking out the 3016 scale green ranger with me. Now, I did pick that up at my local comic shop, which is Lemon Juice McGee's Comic Cavalcade. If you're in the Somerset, Kentucky vicinity or you're close to a county nearby, I highly advise you come check him out. Um, I was able to pick this up for around 100 bucks. I guess that's what these guys retail for. I'm not positive. Uh, he does have the five pack, which I will probably go back and pick up after picking this up because this is a damn good figure. Um, guys, another topic I want to discuss. The views have absolutely went through the roof on my last video. Thank you so much. Uh, subscribers have went up again. The likes have went up again. Guys, you're really helping this channel grow. You guys are fucking rock stars. Uh, I don't really know how to put it any other way. With that said, guys, I hope you're staying safe out there. I hope you're finding everything in your collection you want. If not, keep hunting. Keep getting out there, and I will see you later.